Hello everyone, my name is Lance, I'm the founder of Big Fork. Uh, we make bacon sausage, pork jerky, and pork snack sticks, and a uh, thing called 6040. But uh, today, um, with the uh, COVID-19, uh, I'm all about cooking some, some good food and some comfort food. So what we've got here today is a bacon sausage carbonara, but with ramen and not with regular fettuccine noodles. So let's start off. Um, we've got pecorino cheese and Parmesan cheese. Um, you wanna have this recipe on our website. We've got two, uh, whole egg, or, uh, two whole eggs with one egg yolk. So just whip this up a little bit with just a fork here, and then throw in your cheese. Here's your parm. That's a half cup Parmesan cheese and a half cup pecorino, 50-50. Just blend this up. This is gonna be our sauce. So while this is going, I'm gonna turn on the fire here. Now this is our hickory and apple wood. You could also use our cracked black pepper and see how this sauce is super thick here. This, we're not even gonna cook this egg. It's just gonna be tempered with the, the sausage and the ramen. Okay, now we have our, we have actually three lengths of, this is our hickory and apple wood bacon sausage. You can see, you can see all the other ingredients here. We'll have this recipe on our website, but all we're gonna do here is brown this. Now what I'm using is a cast iron skillet. Um, the reason why is that it holds its heat very well, which will be great for the carbonara. So once we brown the sausage, then I took, I know this is not traditional, but I took one clove garlic and I minced it up. I'm gonna add that to the sausage here. Give it another about 30 seconds here. The pan's nice and hot. All right, once it's nice and brown, let's go ahead I'm gonna add the garlic. Get all those little pieces of garlic in there. Just stir. And then as soon as the, the uh, garlic begins to brown, that's when we're gonna turn off the heat. Or no, we're gonna actually add the, sorry. Not gonna turn off the heat, we're gonna add the ramen as soon as that begins to brown. All right, see how it's beginning to brown here? This ramen was already cooked for a minute and a half in boiling water. I also added one half cup of the cooking liquid. Now we're just gonna reheat this if, the, uh, if your ramen noodles are not perfectly up to temp. As you can see, it's already coming together here. Literally, this is one of the fastest, easiest meals you can make that your whole family is going to love. And why not learn a few fun techniques? All right, now I'm gonna turn the burner off. And that is when I will add the egg cheese mixture. Try to get all that in there. That's the good stuff there. That's gonna make the sauce. Turn it over here like this. And just mix it. The pan is off now. So now it's just gonna cook with residual heat. The importance is the cheese melts, the egg is tempered, and it makes this lovely velvety sauce. Look at the ramen. And then let's do a little finish with just a couple pinches of salt. Crack black pepper. Be ample. Now let's get this nice and coarse with the pepper. There you go. And then finish with two tablespoons parsley. And voila. That is bacon sausage ramen carbonara. Enjoy.